Hope they talk about the ship customization and the outpost building. It might be right now, yeah. Oh, oh, huh. oh, here we go. Okay. <laughs> oh, look at that. Yeah. Space exploration that is, is possible a good point. thanks to your ship. Have we seen any your ship other non-human like sentient another species? another character or home you can make all no, your No, I think own. that's what the game's about. I think you'll be blown away okay. by the amount of stuff you can do. You can buy a ship. I'm sure you can find something you like. Customize and upgrade that ship. And hire a crew to keep it up and running. So it does change the inside. And it all starts in spaceports. Oh my Every god, Every spaceport dude. has a ship technician oh where you can purchase, sell, and modify ships. Anything I can help you with? Maybe you start off with a speedy fighter that's perfect for bounty hunting. Then you might round out your ship roster wow. with a hulking space freighter to run cargo missions, or even do a little smuggling. For now, though, we're going to take our starting ship, the Frontier, and make some changes. You can customize can you and upgrade everything you see here. And you have two ways to do that. You can quickly upgrade individual systems like your weapons or shields, or you can deep dive and enter the shipbuilder mode. Here you can change anything yeah. from the systems to the look yeah, and dude, layout. I want to be a fucking space scuba Adding lord. a new habitat module can give you more room for crew. Adding cowling can change your ship's overall silhouette. Holy shit. An improved grav drive allows for longer distance space jumps. You can even fully customize your paint job to get the exact look you want. The Whoa. parts you choose to build with don't just affect your ship's stats. They'll also affect what you can do inside your ship. Could be a lot of dick You can dick have ships. modules for crafting or for storing and displaying your weapons. Take the words right out of my mouth. Starfield's it's a mobile game base. ship manufacturers bring their own look and feel to every piece of your ship. From living quarters to cargo holds, mess halls and control rooms it's mobile base building <laughs> i might be totally Our alone but Frontier i will is a practical ship but <laughs> i'm one of those guys that will cruise around can look like in something that, I, that you just want. works it's a bit odd and that's but one it, of my favorite never ways of customizing <laughs> ships is um i make them look like animals the hms platypus okay, as i called it where it had a like a giant tail to it. Then we've done. Oh my God! Spiders. What is that monstrosity? We've done mechs. So it's yeah, really that looks like something I would build. Your imagination is. <laughs> Zeke, I think you might take that back because look at that fucking ship right there. The stars, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's what I might to. build. You're probably not the only person who will call your ship home. And everybody was like, "Man, you need to try harder." And I'm like, "Can you download what? other ships?" Oh, oh, Ready they're saying. Yeah, yeah. They said that you can like build. I don't know if you can download other ready. players' ships. Yeah, that's what I thought. They're talking about, like, the ready, companions. Captain. Yeah. Some of the members of Constellation... Oh, yeah, there's downloadable ships. That's what I did these in Oh, my God, the amount of and interesting there when and you original travel. penises we'll be traveling is together be... until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. Each companion comes with their own valuable skills for your ships and outposts, as well as unique quest lines. Eventually, some friendships might blossom into romance. I don't know that I've ever really loved anyone except you. And if you're looking for a little extra help on your ship, you can always hire additional crew at spaceports. Got any room on your ship for someone like me? How did that guy spell You'll that? Also meet what was potential his crew name members spelled out like? in the world. Still think see. there might be a spot for me on your ship? I gotta get off this rock. COE, oh, they misspelled my ship name. Or outposts, right. and their unique skills so time to fix it, Bethesda. Is that Elias? And just like companions, it sounded like most it. Maybe crew a little members bit. can yeah, lend a hand in the saying. field. Take Bosco, for instance. He's now I got a romance Elias, I guess. Around the, the core basics of a NASA machine. Please avoid getting shot. You might die. I still wanted to give it almost a humanoid personality, so I elongated the limbs. This tends to make him feel more human-like and give him a little personality. It is a shame exploration requires so much bloodshed. Using the ship building tools and crew selection features in Starfield, you'll be able to build and captain the ship of your dreams. And now, let's take to the sky. We 
we're putting you in the cockpit of your very own spaceship and telling you that you can do pretty much anything. And that is really cool for us as developers. Spaceflight should be exciting and dangerous, and you should feel like you're in complete control every step of the way. We've extended that sense of control to ship combat. It's not about just Here hitting your triggers to fire your weapons. It's a complex dance between your piloting skills and our power allocation system. Boosting power to your engines will make your ship faster. Powering up the grab drives will shorten the amount of time it takes before you can make a jump. And moving your power to your weapons and shields means you're ready for a fight. You should always be on your toes because you're not alone out there. I mean, that, that looks pretty cool. Unlocking that looks pretty cool. Unlocking the control system skill will allow you to zero in on specific subsystems of the ship you target. After destroying an enemy ship, you can loot the remains from your cockpit. You can always turn any ship that engages you into scrap. But you can also take a more personal that. approach by docking with the enemy vessel and boarding their ship. Whoa. It's got boarding. Holy shit. Dude. Can you steal the ship then? Once you've taken control of an enemy ship, it's yours. Holy shit. Add it to your fleet and retrieve it at any spaceport. Oh, then that's what I'll do. But space is way more than fighting for your life. building my own ship. I'll just take somebody else's. Just like when you're planet side, there are plenty of sights to see and stops to make on the way to your next adventure. Like these massive uh, star yards. What the fuck, man? Walk the halls, talk to the crew, maybe get talked into buying a whole new ship. A civilian in my star yard. Let's see about getting you a proper ship. One worthy of you. Maybe you'll dock with a gigantic battleship, like the UC Vigilance. Or rub elbows with the galaxy's wealthy elite on a cruise ship fit for the stars. There are plenty of personal encounters to be had as well. You can hail any ship you come across to trade, swap info, or maybe even commit an act of piracy. Let's do this. When I'm playing, I generally go crazy. Um, I <laughs> definitely go like the more piracy routes. Um, I want to take over ships. I'm going to board ships. I'm like, this is now mine. I steal all the sandwiches and put them, you know, in my cargo hold. Elias that I have specifically Texas for just sandwiches. tweeted, I I'm not saying hero. nothing, and then immediately um, deleted the tweet. Just start <laughs> taking things from people as quickly as possible. Now that's a Bethesda game. Some strangers my might moral be house a little human connection filled with skulls. in the darkness of space. Every time I saw a skull, I'd pick it up Hello, and drop stranger. it off at my I just house. Finished cooking up some I want food. a pile of sandwiches. If you want to come on over, just pop on by. Some of the Ram? best moments are the ones you discover on your own. The thing I love most about Starfield is that it is a Bethesda game through and through. It's really about going to strange new places, meeting interesting people, and getting sidetracked on zany adventures. Then, realizing two hours later Wait, that, that the you're involved the in a MCU? completely new story. Agent whatever you're his name is. Coulson. A human. There you go. We thought we were the only ones to leave Earth. That DNA is so present here. It's in our random encounters, it's in our handcrafted quests, and it feels so cool to play it and just make your own path in this universe. There are over a thousand planets out there just waiting for you to visit. We want you to feel like explorers, breaking ground on new planets, exploring every inch of a mostly untouched mm. galaxy. Mm. Mm. We want you to feel hopeful. We want you to feel this sense of awe and wonder, and sometimes a little fear. We're giving you a massive playground and a ton of toys, and, and just setting you free. Ahead.
I've never felt comfortable doing any sort of space or ship combat 